Hi guys, it's Ruthie, Plant Obsessed Lady, loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Today I'm going to be showing you a Walmart Lowe's and Lowe's um, haul of things that I um, got. And I will start first with Walmart. sorry I did not take you to those nurseries with me this was like a drive-by quick uh, grab and, and go uh, <laughs> on my way home so I didn't pull out my camera one time I one of the times that I did go my camera was dead so I wouldn't have gotten to uh, do any footage and then the second time I was just like trying to get stuff really quick I I went in and uh, you know when you say I just need one thing which was the light fixture and of course got a bunch of other things so uh, Sorry I didn't bring you guys with me, but uh, I will next time. I will start first with Walmart. Uh, I picked up a couple of things there, and um, these are some of those. This is a, I'm blind, sorry, a Berry Allison Arrowhead plant. I don't have any Arrowhead plants, so I did want to add some to my collection, and I thought this one was super cute, um, and it was three... It was three something, I think like three forty-eight or something like that. And then I got this one as well. And this is um, didn't say exactly. I think it said it had the same name as this one, but it it's a different variation. So honestly, I don't know. I know it's an arrowhead. I just don't know what the variety is. And this one I think was um, five dollars. So. I'll probably trans I will transplant them into another pot at some point, but not just yet. And then that's that one. And I'll give you a close-up look afterwards. So I thought those were really cute and I'm super happy with those. This one was on clearance. I got for like two dollars and fifty cents, seventy-five percent off. And this is an Anthurium. Um it is a little bit busted, but I thought that it had it had some um, life still left in it, so I bought it because it was um, regularly priced for like eleven dollars. So um, yeah, ten ninety eight, and then I wound up paying like two seventy five for it. So I think it still has some life left in it, and I thought that the little planter was cute too. So I can always um, drill a hole for drainage and have a nice little pot. So. And that's the first Anthurium that I have, so that's that. And this one I'm super excited about. And I'll have to get close up because um, this one was, I want to say it was $10. $10 it was. But what made me buy this was this Velvet um, Philodendron. Uh, philodendron. Um, Mikan's you can't see from here, but it has like a shimmer to it that is really beautiful and it's a velvety touch to the leaf So when I saw that I just had to get it because I haven't seen that and just the texture of it alone Just really caught my eye. So I I had to get it and it has like a little bronze to it like green and bronze um, It's really pretty so that I figured I can propagate out of here and it had a nice hang piece to it. And then it had some um, arrowheads in here that I thought the color was really pretty. I don't know the name of this one because it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't specify what it is that you're getting. It just says, you know, um, that it's, um, it's just a rearrangement. It doesn't say what it is. And then I have this, um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I thought it was really pretty. I'll, I will pull this apart because this has no drainage, and um, I want to get this out of here. So I want to get closer so you guys can hopefully see the te whoop, backwards. the texture and the shimmer that it has. 
because I think it's really beautiful and I don't think it's going to come up on film but my chin is <laughs> really pretty this one especially I don't know if you can see like the variation like the bronze and green but it is really pretty trust me all right so I'm gonna pause in a moment so I can show um this purple waffle plant so it, well it's called a snow white waffle plant and I have some here already that I want to just um fill in to make it a fuller plant and that was five dollars and this is from Lowe's Pretty. I love it. Um, this I thought was really pretty. And this is a um, a white Ann Petonia. I love the leaf. I just I just think it's a really pretty um, pattern on it. And it's kind of um, I don't know how you would say like paper feel to it. <laughs> it's really odd, but it's so pretty the pattern. I really like that. And I like to have like a variety of different textures, patterns, because I think that really, you know, makes things interesting. Um, this, I have never seen this plant, and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Um, this is uh, Photonia as well, and it's, they say it's a, it says, my name is Frankie. It's a Photonia Argo. Argaronura. I'm blind, but it is. I, I have to get closer for this because the leaves are like amazing. They have like um a pink that that kind of has um. I don't know if you can see it or not. It looks kind of shimmery. It has little tiny like vein like pattern. But it is so pretty and I hope the color comes out on camera because it's really pretty I hope I'm not too close and I'll just show you the name super pretty I really really love this one and like I said I have not seen this one um, before so I thought it was lovely all right and then the next thing I have and I have this one already but this was like so big that I had to get and this is the plant that I love that just like kind of revives itself um, when you water it it's the um, the purple waffle plant and what I'm thinking I bought two of them and they were 348 for this look at this huge thing I mean look at let's look well, I have to go here so you can kind of really see like look how big this is it's huge for 348 so what I was thinking is I have one other one here on my stand and it has a little it had a little um bloom I'm gonna put it in a hanging planter and I think it's gonna look really pretty. So I'm gonna put the three pieces in a hanging planter and I think that is gonna look really lovely. And I'm sure, I don't know if you guys can see from here, it's probably really difficult to see the color, but it has like some burgundy and green, hence the purple waffle plant. And the texture is just crazy, like the crinkle, crinkly leaves are like I love the pattern they're really really pretty they have a couple of dry spots here but it's really a beautiful plant and I think it's gonna look really nice in a planter in a hanging planter okay and then the last thing that I bought were and I'm gonna bring these close because they're tiny 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 it's super cute these little succulents and they call it little gems, uh, creme, creme nacidum. But look at these tiny little things. They're so little. Those tiny rosettes are just 
I can't even. And then they're hanging. Like, what? Look at these tiny blooms. These are just so cute that I just had to get them. So I'll probably put that in like a little terracotta pot and hope that it... I'm, ho I'm hoping that they kind of trail down. I think that'll be so cute. But that's what I got there. And then I also got, um, because I received a... Um, uh, LED light to um, to review. So I bought a um, a light fixture for it because I have this one and um, I wanted to get the metal one that kind of can reflect the light a little better. But that's basically what I got. I'm really happy with my purchases. I'll probably pop this up um, tomorrow or the next day and I'll give you guys a show of that. I'll show you guys that. Uh, but that's basically what I got. I didn't really see any, any new succulents, so um, I think I'm going to have to expand my search for nursery so that I can find some new succulents and other things. Um, I'm not going to be reduced to buying things online, which I really prefer not to do unless it's something that I totally cannot find. And then, yes, you know, I then I would totally, um, you know, purchase it online. But, um... I just haven't found too many new succulents at my local nursery, so that kind of has bummed me out. But I've been really happy to find some interesting houseplants and expanding that collection, which is really, you know, I love to have plant, I'd be able to have plants indoors and outdoors. It's really nice, especially when it's super duper hot outside. It's like at least I can spend some time in here and um, enjoy my plants. Oh. Did find at Walmart these cute little um, wicker baskets, woven um, baskets that I thought were super cute. I think it was $4.74. I really love them, and you can put holes in. They have the little um, the pre-drilled holes, so all you have to do is pop them out. I didn't do it yet because I just threw this plant in here to see how it would look. And I think it's really cute. What I want to do actually is put some um, some feet on this, some three little uh, legs on this, and have it like a standing basket, which I saw someone else doing. I thought it was a really great idea. So I do want to find some other baskets to to have like standing baskets. So. Uh, that's basically it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and I will show you once I repot some of these. I actually repotted so many of my plants but I was in such a um, a groove that I totally forgot to record it. I, I uh, repotted a couple of my succulents, a couple of my cacti, some of my house plants. I was just on a roll um, and I probably wouldn't have turned the camera on because I was a hot mess because it was so hot outside and I, I was basically doing most of it outside and I think I was just like a sweaty hot mess but I did get a lot of work done <laughs> in the garden which uh, I did want to do some updates because I have some really great things happening in my garden and I will do another video and I haven't forgotten to do the succulent care video I've just I'm trying to get everything together so that um, you know I have a comprehensive guide for you guys so thanks so much for your support. I, I hope you enjoy. I did forget one more thing that I purchased, and this is a desert rose that I purchased for my friend Aaron. Um, as you guys know, or may or may not know, we swap things that we can't find in our area. So you know, we get little gift, uh, uh, little gifts in the mail from each other so she'll let me know what she's looking for I'll let her know what I'm looking for and I really highly recommend it if you know someone that you um, can swap with it's a really fun and nice thing to do um, and I've, I've really enjoyed having her as a my plant bestie so this one's gonna be going to Erin along with a couple of other things um, and I hope she'll love it it has a bunch of blooms that have not yet um, bloomed and I think it's a super pretty color that I do not have it's like a peachy pink I don't have this color and uh, this is a different type of leaf the leaves that I typically have on my desert roses are a little wider and curlier so this one I thought was really interesting and I hope she'll really enjoy it so Erin 
this is coming to you. Super pretty. I, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, uh, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post something new. Till next time, let's make this world a more beautiful place, one succulent plant and cacti at a time. Bye.